OK, so this video is going to show you how you can check to make sure that your USB flash drive is performing properly. You can check the read speed, the write speed and if there are any errors on the disk too. This is good if you've just bought a drive and just want to make sure that it's performing at its optimum or if you've had a drive for a while and you're thinking to yourself, has it had its day? You know, is it likely to fail shortly? You can do tests on that too. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can check your USB flash drive to make sure that it's working properly. It can test read speeds, write speed speeds and check it for errors too. It's a great little utility. So where do we get it from? So let's just open up our browser. So I'm going to open Microsoft Edge and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top. If there's anything in there, delete it out now and then just type in there cwtek.com co.uk forward slash WD. So that's C for Charlie, W for Whiskey, T for Tango, E for Echo, K for Kilo, dot C for Charlie, O for Oscar, dot U for Uniform, K for Kilo, forward slash W for Whiskey, D for Delta. Once you've typed this in, then press enter or return on your keyboard. If you've typed in the correct address, then you should see this page here. So let's just get rid of this cookie notice. And if we scroll down, there you go. We're looking here for check flash drives, speed stroke reliability. And what we want to do is we want to move our mouse over the word check flash 1.170. Then click the left mouse button once. If an advert comes up, just click on the close or the cross. And there you go, it should have now downloaded. So what we want to do is we want to click on open this just there. And then if we're running Windows 11, we want to click extract all. And we can do this if we're running Windows 10 too. And then just click on extract down there. Then we need to make sure that our USB drive or our flash drive is plugged into the system. So plug it in now and then count backwards from 10 to zero. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then hopefully, there you go, it should actually come up. And as you can see already, it's saying there is actually a problem with my drive. But nevertheless, let's double click check flash, that's C-H-K-F-L-S-H, double click that. And then hopefully after a few seconds, there we go, this should come up. Now, hopefully it should have selected automatically our USB drive if we've only got one USB drive connected. If, uh, if it hasn't, then click on the drop down there and select the drive letter of your USB drive. So next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that under the access type, it says use temporary file. That's the safest way of doing things. And we want to do a write and read test. So make sure that we've selected write and read test. And really, ideally, if we want to do a good proper test on here, we need to click on full pattern set. So just click on the circle to the left of full pattern set. OK, one full pass is probably enough to check the drive. And then all we do is we just click start. So it says here used file system does not support the desired file size. And in the selected access type will be tested only 4090 megabytes. Well, that's fine. It's because it's FAT32. Most drives are FAT32, but that's all right. It's still going to test the drive. So click on OK and then click on start again. And then now what it's doing is it's going through and it's writing a test file to the drive. And what it's then going to do is it's going to read the test file back and make sure that everything is OK. Make sure that it can read it properly. And it's going to do this several times. So 
there we go. So mine's actually stopped at the moment. And uh, like I say, in a little while, it's going to try and read that particular file. And as you can see here, under pass remain, that time there is going up. It is fluctuating. So uh, it's it's not a quick job this by any means. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and then once this test process is finished, we'll come back to it because unfortunately, I think this test process is likely to possibly take more than three hours. This is a 128 gigabyte flash drive. This incidentally is one I bought recently and I've been having a few problems with it crashing the system or hanging the system up. So I wanted to check to see if there are any errors on it. I mean, it was doing the job, but what you was finding was it was backing up so much or so many files to uh, to the drive. And then it was just freezing for a while, quite a long period of time. In actual fact, just what it's doing now while it's right into the, uh, the drive, as you can see, the purple block started filling up quite quick when I started this test off. As it's going through the test now, the purple blocks are slowing down and then you're getting a burst of speed and then it stops again. So uh, this is indicative of what it was doing when copying files. So anyway, like I say, I'm going to pause this video and what we'll do is we'll come back to it in probably about three and a half hours time and see how it's done. Okay, so there we are. It's now completed and it's saying there test complete, total zero errors. And as you can see down here under information, we have got completed cycles one, which means it's run through the, the USB drive completely once. The read speed was 102.33 megabits per second. The time it took was three hours and four minutes and eight seconds. So this isn't a quick job by any means. It's not actually found any errors on the drive, but what I have found out with this drive is that the write speed is extremely low compared to the read speed. So therefore, although no actual errors were found on the drive because it managed to read and write every part of the drive, this particular drive, the write speed was quite low. So therefore, there could be a potential problem with a couple of the chips inside the USB drive, the flash drive, which are causing it to not run at its optimal speed. So there you go. I hope you like this utility and I hope this guide helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look at my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. There's a link down there to it. Also, if you're in the market for a VPN or a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, there's loads of links down there too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos here that your friends, your relatives, or your work colleagues might find useful, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timeline. Thanks for watching.